Hello 6B, just getting ourselves set up for our maths assessments coming up. We're looking at prime composite square triangular factors and factor trees. So a prime number, all of these things we've done, done in term one, we're doing in term two, all of this information is here. So your assessment is just based on those six items, the properties of the number which are factors and factor trees. As long as we know our multiplication and a division, we should be fine with factors. So if we look at factor trees, if I click on this one, this is at the top of Google Class. Remember doing these ones? So here we've got 16, I'll make it a bit bigger. Here we go. 16, what are the factors of 16? Could be. One, two, four, 8 and 16, those are the factors, they fit evenly into it, and so it's basically 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times itself, 4 times 4, that's it. We're not going to use the biggest number, and we're not going to use the smallest number, which gives us the options of putting in here 4 and 4, or we could do 8 and 2. Now when we do it, if we put 8 and 2, we would circle 2 because that's a prime number. That's the end of that branch. So in this case, I'm going to just do 4 and 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Let's see what happens. 4, 4, and I'm going to check. And you can see it automatically branches off again. This is what you should be doing. Now, if it becomes yellow on this one, it's because that's the end of that branch as a prime number. You would actually circle it. This one here, four, you wouldn't circle because it's not a prime number. And a prime number is divisible by one and itself. So one times four would be four, so I'm not going to do that because I can do two times two. So if I make two, it'll all be two in this particular one. Two, two, and let's just get it wrong. Let's make this one six. Let's get it wrong. What happens? Six, click check. You can see that this branch has worked out quite nicely. Two times two is four. Two times six certainly isn't four. So that's, I know it's correct. This one has to be a two. Go back in, make it a two, and then check again. Correct. And you can see down the bottom, two times two times two times two will give me 16. And the fancy way you could do that is two to the power of so one over here, 18. Just think of the factors. What are the factors of 18? What do you think? Obviously, 1 and 18. What other ones are there? 2 times what is 18? 2 times 9. What else is there? 3 times 6. And that would be it. So in this case, I'm not going to use 1. And I'm not going to use 18, which leaves 2 and 9, or 3 and 6. So let's try 3 and 6. Doesn't matter if it's 6 and 3, it's the same thing. Cool. 6. 3 times 6 is 18, I'll check. 3 will become yellow because it's a prime number. Yep, and then 6, and 2 times 3. See down the bottom, 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. And you could write that as 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Same thing. And carry on down here. So those are what you be, want to be practicing tonight. Or tomorrow morning if you're watching this video. Hopefully you already know it. Again, practice some of these primes so you know what they are. Okay, and this game here, pick the primes, it's all on Google Class. Now, how fast can you do it? Is one a prime number or a composite? It's neither. So you leave one alone. We're only picking the primes. What about nine? It's an odd number. One times nine is nine. Surely that's, no. Nine is a composite because three times three makes nine. So nine is, it's actually a square number too, isn't it? 
What's the smallest square number? Four is a square number because two times two. One's a square number, one times one. But we're only looking at prime. So prime, four, no, any even numbers, they're all composite apart from two. Two is the only even prime number because two times one. So let's go five. That's five times one, seven. Seven times one, 13. 30 times one, three. Two, it's the only even prime number. What about, what's left? Four, nine, one, 14, 12, 15, 11. There's one more. 11. All right, and I'll check. Nailed it. So, have a go at this tonight. Um, when you get up to the further up you go, it's more challenging it comes, it comes a little bit higher. But if you know level one and two, it's a great start. The other thing you want to be watching is understanding, or knowing how to work out what triangular numbers are. And you could just write one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven and keep going. Okay, because the first triangular number is one. Just one. The next triangular number is one plus two, which is three. The third triangular num number would be one plus two plus three. Some people write them out with the dots um, as in an equilateral triangle. Some people turn it into what is known as a, a right angle triangle, with a half of a rectangle in a sense. If you know the formula, it's even easier. So triangular number, square numbers, you should know. It's just one times one, which is one. Two times two, four. Three times three. So when they say, uh, is this a square number? If you know, just think of five times five, four times four, six times six. If you know that, you'll know square numbers. Composite number uh, factors is more than two factors. So if it's eight, you can see some of these things here. This one here, 16, is a composite number because it's got more than two factors. So make sure you watch some of these videos tonight. Play some of those games. Don't need to worry about percentage and discounts in this particular um, work that we're doing. I would probably suggest watching the Prime Numbers songs. Just have a listen. It's quite annoying, but it might stick in your head. So on. Annoying but catchy, maybe you need to watch that. Alright, good luck with you and your family. Good luck with the assessment.